It is time now for the Peter Chill Body News for this Monday morning, May 11th, 2015. <laughs> Good morning to you all this Monday morning, back to work, back to school. Here are your news and eyes here in that top story here at 7, 10 in the morning time here on this. Monday morning here is the kings of both Saudi Arabia and Bahrain will not attend this week's summit of Gulf Nation leaders hosted by President Barack Obama at Cape David. Suspected tornadoes killed at least two people at a mobile home park in Arkansas and damaged about 30% of a city in East Texas, a 40 said early Monday. One of the four people facing Charges of the deficit declared is it is it is it a custody need. In Jakarta, Indonesia, hundreds of migrants abandoned at sea by smugglers in Southeast Asia have reached land in relative safety in the past two days. In London, Greek bond yields edge up Monday as Eurozone finance ministers met in Brussels to discuss a cash for reforms deal for Athens, which faced the first of a series of large debt. In Cairo, a Moroccan F-16 warplane that is part of a Saudi-led force carrying out airstrikes in Yemen has gone missing, Morocco's military said on Monday, and Iran allied Hafi rebels and Saudi forces have traded heavy fire across the border. Libya has criticized EU proposals to offer a use of a force against people smugglers taking migrants across the Mediterranean to Europe. Warsaw, Poland, the conservative challenger to Poland's incumbent president has defied pre-election opinion polls and stunned the governing party by winning the largest number of votes in the first round of presidential balloting. One of India's biggest political personality cults has received an unexpected boost when Jai Ala Lefa, the autocratic former film star and ex chief minister of the state of Tamil Nadu, won an appeal against a four year jail sentence and choice of extravagant. Ukraine's eastern port of Marvel has braced for attack. RV vehicles rumble down streets, windows are fortified to shield against. Shell damage and signs placed through a proper box to point people to their nearest bomb shelter. Following the surprise landslide victory for the Tories in UK elections, Prime Minister David Cameron faces demands from the Scottish National Party for increased power for Scotland and the UK. Once a Democratic Socialist, always a Democratic Socialist, once a scold of big money in politics, still scold no one can accuse Bernie Sanders of flip flopping over his four decades of public life. And Buchanan in New York, part of a New York nuclear power plant, remains offline as a cleanup continues on a transformer pulled in a leak to the Hudson River. In Beijing, more than two hours before China cut in its interest rates on a Sunday afternoon, that naturally sensitive information make rounds. Volvo Cars will build a $500 million plant in South Carolina that will eventually employ up to 4,000 people. The company announced Monday morning that the plant, about three miles from the port of Charleston, is expected to make about 100,000 vehicles a year. In London, Airbus Group Chief Officer, Executive Officer Tom Enders on Monday expressed confidence in the A4 military cargo plane two days after one crash and told employees that the company were determined to move forward. London, oil slipped below $65 a barrel on Monday as signs that U.S. shale oil production was receiving and recovering after a recent price. Riley renewed concerns of a glo global supply glut. In Beijing, China's smartphone market has reached saturation according to a new study by industry analysts AIDC that carries potential significant implications for global handset industry. Led by giants like Apple. A look at the stock market here at 714. Dow 18,191 up 267.05. SP5 21.16.10. A change at NASDAQ 5003. Point five unchanged. NASA Messenger mission was a big success. The spacecraft crashed 11 days into planet Mercury after its four year mission. Now, researchers found that Messenger's data for Mercury has a magnetic field that is almost 4 billion years old. NASA's Mars. Rover Curiosity has captured studied images of the sun, sent it on the red planet, showed blue hues of the serene sundown over the Martian horizon.
that WHO won't replace the international classification of disease systems but would provide guidance. A U.S. couple said their teenage daughter with autism were told to get off late after the pilot said the girl was making them feel uncomfortable and made an emergency stop. Okay, let us take a look at sports here at 7.15, the Boston Red Sox escaped the brooms of the Toronto Blue Jays by defeating the Blue Jays yesterday in Toronto, 6-3, as the Boston Red Sox begin a three-game series against the Oakland Athletics starting tomorrow, starting today at 10.05 p.m. Wiki Fowl celebrates with girlfriend Al Alexis Red Sox after winning the final round of the Players' Championship during a playoff at the TPC Sawgrass Stadium Peter Tell News Stop is out 716 here on this Monday morning. Back to work, back to school, and it is time now for Trevor Report here. And we got a 95 and a North Bun side. Slow from 123 in the caliber to 295. Due to an accident on 95 in the northbound side, you're 295 at Alabama, so expect some delays here. 295 at the eastbound side, northbound side, slow from 1 to 95 in Alabama here. And 95, a little slow to the Fox Bros. Street, you hit the brakes again from the bottom Street and Dalton all the way out to Route 128. Mm. Captain here, 24 in the northbound side, slow from Harrison Boulevard, Navon all the way out to Captain here on Route 128, Route 3 of the northbound side. So from Derby Street in the Hingham to the Braintree Split. 120 on the southbound side. So from Braintree all the way out to the Braintree Split here. 120 on the northbound side. So from Braintree all the way out to Route 9 in Wolseley here. 120 on the southbound side. So from 95 and Peabody all the way out to Route 2 in Lexington. Route 2 on the westbound side. So from 4225 Lexington to Route 128. Mass Pike the Eastbound side, slow from 495 and Westboro all the way out to Route 16 and West Newton to here. Southeast Expressway to the northbound side, slow from the Bray Tree Split all the way out to Bass Ave. Exit here, Mass back on the westbound side, slow from 1A to East Boston all the way out to South Boston, Mass back to the eastbound side, slow from South Boston all the way out to Logan Airport here. 93 on the southbound side, so from Route 133 to Andover, all the way out to the Zaken Bridge here. Route 1 to the southbound side, so from Toby Bridge all the way out to Charlestown on the Interstate 93. Route 3 to the southbound side, so from Chelsea all the way out to Buicka, and then you hit the brakes again before Route 120 to Burlington here. 185 on the Southbound side, so from Route 28 in Andover, all the way up to 93 in Andover here. Up in New Hampshire. Every trip I can have to southbound side, slope after the airport runway at the Manchester Airport here. But otherwise, the Granite State is looking good, and the main trip I can look good from Kittery all the way up to the Portland here. Route 2 on the eastbound side, up in Route 2 eastbound side, slow before 495 a little to the air, in Worcester 290 eastbound side, slow from Auburn all the way up to downtown Worcester, Route 122 not northbound, slow before 290 in Worcester here, 146 at the both ends, a little slow to North Smithfield here, 195 on the westbound side, a little slow from 114 in the east part of the at the downtown Providence here, but the uh, Ocean State is looking good here, and... Out of Cape Cod. The board bridge on the southbound side. A little slow here. Route 28 on the northbound side. A little slow before the board rotary here. And.
Subway system is looking good. Commuter rail is looking good. And the ferry's on. Smooth sailing. Peter Chell News 720 on this Monday morning. Time and a half for a weather report. Here for today, a chance of showers. Middle after 2 p.m. Puck says, guys, how about 85 degrees southwest? What about 6 to 11 miles by a chance of precipitation? 3 percent. New precipitation amounts are less than 10 minutes possible. For that, a chance of showers. Middle after 9 p.m. Areas of fog after 2 a.m. Otherwise, most of the guys got to know about 6 more degrees. Stop for about 79 miles by a chance of precipitation? 4 percent. New precipitation amounts are less than 10 minutes possible. For Tuesday, slight chance of showers. That's what results are possible after 11 a.m. Areas of fog before 9 a.m. Otherwise, most of the cost cards are about 85 degrees southwest, with about 7 to 10 miles per cost size, 25 miles per chance of precipitation, 20%. So that, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before 10 p.m. Bar cost cards are about 55 degrees and west, with about 6 to 9 miles per cost size, 28 miles per chance of precipitation, 20%. Wednesday, most of the cost cards about 66 degrees and northwest, with about 11 to 13 miles per cost size, 26 miles per hour. Here, with that, bar cost cards are about 41 degrees. Thursday, 7 most of the cost cards about 66 or about 43 degrees. Friday, Saturday podcast cars about 72, low about 49 degrees. Saturday, check the channels with most of the cars about 70, low about 50 degrees. Check the participation of 4%. And for Sunday, podcast cars are about 70 degrees. Norton temperature, Saturday at 68 degrees with Ferris cars. And that's going to be it for the Peter Channel. Morning news on this Monday morning, May 11th, 2015. Peter's here. Have a good day. What a good Friday, too.